I'm Clyde, and welcome to Cooking with Wood Carved Birds of Prey, the show where a bird of prey that has been carved out of a block of wood teaches you, the home chef, how to make easy dishes. When I say easy, I don't mean slapping a can of cream of something soup and some rice with some gray chicken and freezer vegetables. A, those canned soups are gross and full of sodium, and B, come on, I'm a bird of prey carved from a fine piece of oak. My taste buds are well defined. So onward and upward. Today we're making a simple tomato sauce. I despise jarred tomato sauces. They're full of sugar, the flavors are muted, half the time they don't even taste tomato-y, and why buy a jar of something you can make quite easily at home? How easy, you ask? So easy. This sauce is roasted in the oven and involves only a few kitchen tools. Not bad, I say. And those ingredients? Simple. All you need is one 28 ounce can whole peeled tomatoes. Your favorite brand will do. I like San Marzano. They're sweet. Tastes pretty good. Six to eight garlic cloves peeled and smashed. You know the drill. Throw them on a cutting board, smash them up, peel them, toss them in a bowl. Half a stick of butter cut into small pieces. Uh, you know, I didn't say it's healthy, but it's going to be delicious. It's going to roast up nice and good. About a half a teaspoon red pepper flakes. Eh, more or less, depending on how spicy you like it. More if you like it spicy, less if you're a wimp. Two anchovy fillets. Oh my goodness, caught these from the ocean myself. Two things. One, I'm a bird and I like fish. Two, before you start getting all scared, it won't leave the sauce tasting fishy at all. So break down and add a nice savory and salty flavor. Trust me, by day, I soar high in the sky protecting the land. And by night, I make pasta sauce. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. I have one of these oven thermometers in my oven just in case. A year ago, I realized my oven was off by almost 75 degrees. Ready your cooking vessel. Dump all your ingredients into that vessel. That's it. Got my tomatoes. Here I'm pouring in the garlic gracefully dumping in the red pepper flakes. Butter, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, look at those anchovy fillets. Beautiful. And just stir it up. No biggie, really easy. Throw it in the oven, making sure to protect your wings. Set a timer for 40 minutes. Boil a large pot of water for a pound of spaghetti. Be sure to leave a ladle out with a half cup measure. This is for the sauce later. I always forget this step. Careful not to burn my wings. I take out the sauce, making sure it has a jammy texture to it. Oh yeah, that's the step right there. Look at how that sauce reduced. Next, smash it with a potato masher. Be sure to get every little bit of garlic and every little bit of butter. Smash and mix until it looks nice and consistent. Yeah. Pour your sauce in a bowl. Add a little bit of that pasta water you saved. You did save it, right? You didn't forget? Good. Mix it up. A little bit of pinch of salt. You could add a crack of pepper if you like. Carefully add your cooked pasta and stir until it's all combined. Just keep going. It might be difficult at first, but trust me, it's going to be a beaut. What I tell you, look at that. Oh, the smells in my beak. Add a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese with your wings. I like a lot. Birds like cheese. Little known fact. Come to Papa. Mmm. Whoopsie daisy. Where are my manners? What goes better with a little pasta than a nice glass of wine? Here we go. Down the hatch. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Mmm. Delicious. Hey, thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. 
I hope this recipe and my others find you well in the future. And if you enjoyed my video and want to learn more about cooking, check out my friend Matilda on her show, Baking with the Statue of a Fortune Teller. She's amazing. I think she's making her famous chocolate torte this week. It's delicious. Cheers!